It's so cold my tools don't want to work. It's definitely like 30 degrees. I swear, this car is going to be the death of me. All right, guys, side by side. This is the OEM versus the new. Oh, no traction there. Jeez. Oh, my God. Guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, it's going to be a busy day. Today, we're going to give the twin turbo mustang an upgrade and this is something we've been putting off for probably a little bit too long but today yes we are finally going to install a 1000 horsepower rated drive shaft so let's get that cold start turn the car around because at the end of this at the end of the video we're going to be unboxing something expensive i think that uh you're not going to want to miss it so without further ado let's go all right let's get this twin turbo twin turbo cold start So drive shaft, pretty easy installation, but let's go ahead and get to it. So check this out, drive shaft shop. This is their 1000 plus rated drive shaft. One piece design, it is uh, honestly a little heavier than I thought. You know, this is all pretty much aluminum and everything, but given the horsepower rating, it's gonna be, it's gonna have a little bit more weight, but it's cool because we're not gonna break this thing hard launching on the track. It's a beautiful piece. I have heard that there can be some vibration issues with these single one piece drive shafts. So we're definitely gonna take it uh, for a drive, test drive in this video and give you my first impressions. Installing a drive shaft is honestly pretty simple, but we're gonna give the car in the air and go from there. It's so cold. This thing is constantly dripping water. I don't know what the deal is. This is a long bolt. 113 millimeter. Come on. Come on. All right. It's so cold, my tools don't want to work. It's definitely like 30 degrees. It's freezing cold. Come on, baby. cut myself oh man just this. Yeah. come on baby come on there we go Woo. all right we're in business now blood sweat and tears guys <laughs> okie dokie all right, what are we doing? Oh yeah, drive shaft. <laughs> oh man, all right, so yeah, stick around to the uh, the end of the video. We're gonna unbox something that's really expensive like I was talking about. We're gonna be doing hopefully two videos today and this will be one of them. So we're gonna be under the car for the second part of it. These wheels have to come off. Some of the trim panel and all that stuff has to come off, these fender liners. Um, it's it's uh, what you guys have all really been wanting to see, what you've been asking for. So your wishes and mine are being fulfilled in the next video, hopefully. But for today, uh, we're gonna work on this. Stop bleeding. Please stop bleeding. You know, we're one of the only YouTube channels with a Mustang that actually does our own stuff in the garage. Everything, everything is DIY here uh, with these two hands and just the help of a select few others. Uh, to include, if you're new to the channel, engine swaps, turbo kits, everything, suspension. I refuse, if I can help it, I refuse to take my car to a shop to let anybody else put their hands on it. You know, whether we have success or failures on this channel, the one thing that I'm very proud of is that we can always, you know, overcome. So just like in life, you know, we hit speed bumps, you know, some people, they can sit back on the internet and be like, haha, he's destroying a car or whatever. But the thing is that I can say that I'm, I can sit back and say that I'm proud of is the fact that 
This is a true garage built twin turbo Mustang. And we are chasing low nines this year, all built with these two hands. All right, how much room do we have to work with? All right, so here's your stock drive shaft. That's gonna be tough to get to, but we might. Okay, yeah, I'll probably pull these off too. Oh, it's hitting this other one. That sucks. All right, we're dropping the full. Oh, God bless. There we go, God. Really? Oh, you know what? I think I can get to the bolts. I think we're good. It's cold, guys. I'm trying to find my motivation. I've been looking all throughout this garage for my motivation, and I can't find it. And car parts and, yeah, more tools, and I just, I can't find my motivation. Oh, I quit. <laughs> These bolts back here, if I can get on here. These are 10 mil. And, uh, why can't I get on? Come on. There we go. In the back you got 13. I'm sorry, in the back you got 10. Up here you got a 13 for these four bolts. These were loose. I don't even know why these were loose. Definitely put Loctite on these when you take your drive shaft in and out. Please be 13. Yep, 13 here in the center. And be careful. So all the bolts are out. So we want to support this so you don't get bonked in the head. There we go. Come on. What's the problem? Oh my gosh, why? I swear, this car is gonna be the death of me. What the f What is happening? Oh, jeez. Oh, I cut myself again. All right, guys, side by side. This is the OEM versus the new. So I doubt that there's going to be much weight saving. So this is, uh, it's actually not terribly heavy, this two-piece unit. But you see how it flexes here? I mean, there's a lot of give. But you got a solid one-piece top design here. So this one is 1,000 horsepower rated. What's up, man? Making videos. This is the new, the new hotness right here. It's a pain in the butt getting this thing out. It like didn't want to come out. Yeah, I hope that we don't have any vibrations. We'll give it a nice test drive. Look at all of this flex right here in the center, this soft rubber. I mean, this is there for noise, vibration, and harshness, NVH. I don't know if we're gonna get any more NVH out of this. I don't think it's any lighter. I honestly don't. So are we gonna save rotational mass here? I don't know. I doubt it. But again, this is 1000 horsepower rated. I mean, we're going to need it. But let's put this thing in the car and go for a ride. All right, guys, we're done. But what I want to do is take it for just a test drive. I still have the exhaust off. The uh, cat back is still off of the car, so it's going to sound crazy. And our drive modes are going to go nuts. But I want to see if we can put it up to speed and see if there's any vibration or anything weird going on. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of vibrating there. Yeah, that's a lot of vibration. All the coins in here are like dancing around. So, interesting thing is that, man, it's loud as hell in here with no cat back. The turbo sound wicked, listen to this. <laughs> wow, this is really, really loud. makes me want to do dumps so bad. I love, love, love the Corsa Active Extreme mufflers on this car with the double X-pipe and all that with the turbo. It sounds so good. It's so deep. It's so different sounding than it was when it was naturally aspirated. We're doing 55. I want to do about 60 or 70 and just see if there's any like weird vibrating. I don't feel anything right now though. Yeah, everything is smooth just like it was OEM stock, which is a big deal to me. on the car all you hear is turbo noise wow this is interesting this is great i want to do dumps now this is nuts freezing cold it's still 44 and i'm on street tires but we'll give it a little bit oh my god oh my god oh my god the noises the noises <laughs> We 
we have no vibrating nothing it feels so good good job DSS I was really afraid that we were gonna run into some problems very rarely when I do a modification it doesn't come with some kind of weird sick nasty you know side effect but this feels pretty good It's 44 degrees, we're on street tires, and we're actually getting some traction. I don't I can't even explain it. It's just silly. Alright, let's go up here and turn around and do that again. I don't even want to quit driving now. I mean it is so so loud in here. But as far as the drive shaft, uh, everything is good. Good, good, good. Oh, no traction there. What in the hell? Like bunny hopping. guys to hear this absolutely silly sounds crazy so that's gonna wrap up this video that was the most exciting part of it i'm just at a loss of words that's nuts i definitely yeah that's got me thinking maybe behind the downpipes we'll do some kind of like uh, an electric cutout that way we can keep the corset because i love the corset absolutely i really do but on the track cutout also might help us with any kind of back pressure issues whatsoever so if we run into issues i don't think i think the the, uh, the valve springs when we do that the valve spring should fix that but i mean that just totally sounds sick we have one more thing to show you before we end this video all right guys so to end this video properly you guys have all been wanting to see this twin turbo car be off of 93 pump gas and boosting and all that other stuff. I was so tempted to take this thing down the track, run like, you know, mid nines on 93. That would have just broke the internet. But the thing is, we might be successful with it, we might not. But right here inside of this box, this is it. This is a return style fuel system from Lethal Performance. I cannot give all the secrets away. So what you're gonna have to do is, uh, cause we're gonna about to start actually getting started on this. So I'm gonna pull the car back in the garage and we're gonna get to it. But yeah, a triple pump is going in the car. Pretty crazy stuff from Lethal Performance. And the cool thing is uh, you can use promo code XANA13 if you wanna save some money on something like that, a big fuel system. Now the turbo kit, that is all Hell Horse. Those are Hell Horse 64, 67s. You guys are very familiar, but if you're not, that's what that is. Hellhorseperformance.com. Big shout out to those guys. Big shout out to all of my sponsors. <laughs> Look at this thing. Anderson Composites carbon fiber hood, GT350 style spoiler in the back. Uh, we have wheels. They are in Texas. They are bought. I'm still not gonna tell you what they are. These stock ones are actually gonna get replaced with something that is probably gonna break the internet. It's definitely gonna be a, uh, a welcome change to the car. So get ready. But all right guys, that's the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it fun. And uh, this car sounds really, really nasty. So I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Oh.